guys! Today I'm gonna be showing you my enamel pin collection. These pins all come from various artists. So I've been collecting these pins for about three years. I always put together like a pin wish list for every birthday and Christmas. So the collection has grown over time. Okay, so to show the pins up close, I'm gonna put them back on their backing cards. Just because I think the backing cards are really cute and deserve some appreciation. Also, it says the artist name on the backing card. So that'll make it easier if you're trying to track down these pins. Anyway, here's the first pin. It's a little lavender. Lavender is my favorite flower. I named myself after lavender. It's got gold plating, it's got super fine detail, and the backing card with the little jar, I just think that's so cute. The next one is this little jar of magic dust. The backing card has this cute little thing where it says like the effect, the ingredients, and I just think that's really cute. Okay, so I thought it made sense to show all these pins together because they're all by the same artist, one of my favourite artists. They make such cute pins. Look at these. They all feature a cute little bunny. We've got lavender bunny, adventure bunny, sleepy bunny, and a bunny with a little chip bird as a friend. Then this pin is also by them. It's like a little switch with a dandelion growing out of it. I nearly forgot about this cute little fox. There's a trio of fox sisters which I think is really cute because I have two sisters. Here are the other two fox sisters. You see what a cute trio. So this next pin is actually Marshall from Animal Crossing. Technically he should be on my Animal Crossing pin board but I put him on here before I made that board so he kind of stays on here. Then we have a cute little octopus in a hat. His flag reminds me of Tommy's flag from Animal Crossing. Although I got this pin way before Animal Crossing came. Out. It also reminds me of this octopus I made. Look, they're like exactly the same. Okay, this pin here didn't actually come with a backing card, and it's actually a pin based off Espeon, so it should probably be on the Pokemon board as well, but once again, it's stuck here. Next, we've got this cute little purple potion. I remember I waited so long to buy this, and then it was like the last one they had, so I just got that one. Next, we have a cute little magic hat. It's based off the sorting hat, but it's purple. Look how cute its little face is! Then we have some dinos. I have quite a lot of dinosaur pins on the board. I don't know what it is about dinosaurs i just always find them so cute and next we have puffy which is like a cute little white mouse designed by porophil and she's in a cute little purple teacup so the next pins i have to show these two were on the pin board these two have not made it on yet but they're like little artist pins we've got rainbow paintbrush rainbow quill is that called a quill fountain pen who knows a purple paintbrush and a really cute book which says live your most creative life i love book pins they're by an artist called sugar nova i think there's an x in there somewhere oh here we go it's on the back next we have a couple pins from this artist a photo fox studio and other lavender pins because i'm obsessed with lavenders we went through this already and a cute little fan with a tassel they have so many of these fans there's so many nice designs it was so hard to pick surprise there's a second pin fan because i couldn't pick next we have this cute planner pin which i bought when i was super into bullet journaling kind of not into bullet journaling at the moment i mean there's nothing really going on at all so maybe that's why but i still like this pin it's really cute okay then i have these two pins which i think are the cutest things ever this one here is a lavender frog. It's one of my favourite pins I've ever bought. I love the colours. I love cute little frogs. And this polar bear is also super cute and I knew it would go with this bear so I bought it as well. Now we're going to take a look at the large amount of corgi pins on my board. So yes I have a corgi. Before I had a corgi all I did was buy corgi pins because I couldn't buy a corgi. And these ones I actually backed on a Kickstarter before I knew I was getting my corgi puppy and they didn't arrive till after I got her so that's kind of cute. They were corgis based on all the star signs. I might have got a little bit excited about these ones. I just love this corgi. This person has a really cute comic about this corgi who's named Tori and its friend Sam who's a cat. It's so cute. You should definitely check it out. The comics are just so wholesome and sweet. Okay, so then we've got my Outdorables pins, which are little adorable pins. They're called Outdorables because they're outdoor and they're adorable. Get it? I, yeah, I think you get it. So naturally I got a frog. There's also a lot of frogs on this board. But there's also a rainbow and a cute little mushroom that's sitting down. Continuing the corgi tour, we have a snazzy corgi wearing snazzy sunglasses. And I have a bunch of corgi pins from Kiwi Hen. I think I got these all as presents. I have a corgi and a flower, a corgi pop, a corgi unicorn, and a corgi club like emblem. What do you call those things? This one just disguised itself so well as a dinosaur, I nearly forgot it. Very good at being incognito. Oh no, now I forgot how I even had these set up. It's okay, I fixed it. I also have that this adorable chubby corgi. Look how happy he is. And he has a little heart for a nose. And the final corg actually came in this really cool little bag with all these sequins because it's like a mer corg, so it makes it look like it's swimming around. Like how cool is that? I just think that's such cool packaging. Okay, so then we have these little these cute 
cute little bears, like a mummy bear and a baby bear, and they're carrying some cute little balloons. And also by that artist is this cute little floral dino. I also have this Sakura Stego, which I was so excited about and loved the design so much, I stayed up till like 2am to get it. And I was lucky I did because it sold out in like 7 minutes. So these two pins here are from the artist Blush Sprouts Floral Animals Pin Club. So I'm not a member every month, but if I see pins that I really like, I will be a member. And I always join the deluxe tier, which means I get two of each pin. It's only $5 more and you get a whole lot of pins, so I think it's a pretty good deal. Also by Blush Sprout are these two cute froggy Halloween pins from last year's Halloween. So this was probably the most stressful pin buying experience I ever had because I went on and this frog was already sold out. Like, it's a purple frog. I had to buy it. But they had these little mystery bags, so I just bought some mystery bags in hope that I would get it. And I did. Look how cute it is. Also got this zombie frog and this ghost frog, which will be added to the board soon. Now, this is an adorable pin. It's a little frog sailing. Go, frog, go. This pin I got ages ago and I was so proud of myself when I got it because it was the last one. It's a little frog with a little leaf umbrella. We also have this tiny frog with a little house plant. I forgot to show this mint frog when I was showing the blush sprout pins. I'm sorry frog. You're just such a frog. I forgot you were a blush sprout frog. I also have a crab. I have no fondness for crabs except this crab because he has a hat and a bow tie. Like how cute is that? And how cute is this bee? It says all will be okay. This one has rose gold plating which I think is really really pretty. And look the bee is wearing wearing shoes. I'm pretty sure these ones are the last two I haven't shown. If I've missed any, I'm so sorry. You can ask me about them in the comments. Okay, then the final pins we have from Mahu Cop. No idea how you pronounce their name. We've got some kind of mythical flying bunny with antlers. And a Loch Ness monster who says it's okay, I believe in myself, which I just think is adorable. Can you believe I nearly forgot this beautiful frog? It's by a really cool artist called Shop Zoki. They have the coolest shop featuring this adorable strawberry frog, which is too big to even fit in the frame. Hi. But yeah, love this artist. They also made this really cute pin. It's a frog in boots and a strawberry umbrella. I literally cried when I saw that design. I was like, that is the cutest thing ever. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my pin collection. I do also have this Disney lanyard here. It's got a bunch of Disney pins, so if you want to see that, let me know. And then I have this pin board, which is like a frame, which has all my Pokemon and Animal Crossing pins. And I have like five pins in the mail. I literally ordered them months and months ago, but you know, things take a while to arrive these days. But yeah, if you want to see more pin videos, let me know. I'll try my hardest to include links to all the artist social medias in the description. A lot of these pins, unfortunately, aren't available to buy anymore because, you know, I got them years ago or the artist only produced a limited batch. But if you want to find similar pins, go look at the artist below. Just go follow them anyway, they're all amazing. If I do forget a pin, just yell at me in the comments and I'll add it in. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. I'll see you again soon. Bye!